Okay, now that we have our points gapped, I also have my drill here attached to the bottom of the distributor so I don't have to spin it by hand. And we're going to wire this up so you can actually see this thing produce some sparks. There's our points moving. Okay, so a point style ignition is about the simplest thing you can possibly have. That point is a switch that controls the ground to this ignition coil over here. So this coil needs to be hooked up to the points. That's going to happen through this little wire. That's known as a primary wire. The other side of the coil needs 12 volts from our battery, so we're going to hook this up to power. Okay, the distributor is normally grounded in the engine block, so we're going to hook up a ground wire. And our spark plug is usually grounded in the engine block as well, so I have a ground wire connected to that. And you'll notice that the spark plug is connected to this black wire, which comes out of the middle of our ignition coil. That's our secondary circuit. So all these small wires are primary wires because they're low voltage. And this one big wire is our secondary wire because it's high voltage. So when I spin this drill, we should see some sparks come out there. And we do. So notice I don't have to spin it very fast. All that point needs to do is make and break the circuit. But I can spin it quickly. And we get lots of sparks. That's your basic point ignition system right there. If you look carefully down inside the distributor, so you look at that point bouncing back and forth. It might be hard to tell, but the spark actually occurs every time that point opens. There you go, that's point ignition.